In the 18th century, anatomical models became widely used for educational purposes. However, there were unique pieces carved in wax, which made them expensive and fragile. Today, they're made of plastic-based resin and are found in medical schools, doctor's offices, even art schools. This model of a human torso has 20 removable parts. The front sides and back all provide different views of the body's inner and outer structure. Workers cast each part of the model using a plastic-based polymer resin. They pour the resin into nickel molds of the different parts, like this skullcap mold or this heart mold. Then they join the two molds that make up each part and clamp them shut. The molds go into a gas oven set to 225 degrees Celsius. As the heat penetrates the molds, the resin evenly coats the entire inner surface. After about 10 to 12 minutes, they come out piping hot. Workers spray them with water to cool them down before they unclamp the mold and release the warm casting. Here are some shoulder muscles, fresh from their mold. The cross section of a heart. An arm. And a leg that workers set to cool into shape on a form made of heat-resistant gypsum. Using a needle, a worker punctures the resin to release trapped air, so the part doesn't shatter. Then he drills small holes for the pins that will hold the parts together. Each part is hand-painted to single out key features. An artist carefully paints the veins in blue on this leg then uses yellow for the nerve endings and red for the arteries. Even the toenails get some color. Before they can assemble the model, workers must first insert metal pins into each part. They help attach the parts to one another. Now the artist can finish painting in the arteries on the shoulder muscle. The gray areas indicate the ligaments. Next, she turns her attention to the head, painting in the eyes first to give the figure some life. It's all in the details. This final touch really makes the eyes come alive. The parts go into a warm oven for about 15 minutes to soften the plastic. This makes them easier to assemble. Here, a worker lowers the model's head onto a metal pin set in the torso. She puts the brain inside the model's skull and covers it with the skull cap. Next, she adds muscles to an arm, guiding the pin into a hole on the adjoining part. She adds the bicep, a muscle that helps flex the hand. And finally, the deltoid, the muscle that lifts the arm at the shoulder joint. Tapes up the arm to keep all the parts together as she attaches it to the torso. Nickel-plated hooks and fasteners hold the removable parts in place on the assembled model. This life-size muscular figure model measures in at 1 meter 38 centimeters. It has 45 separate parts, all anatomically correct. The human body truly an extraordinary structure.